Rockin' Larry Lockin' with the Palladian Light Grid Project, also of Palladian Express Productions. Hey, today I'm going to talk a little bit about something that, well, something that I should have been doing about 20 years ago when I first heard of the concept. And, you know, something that uh, I'm looking forward to doing for not only my health, um, boost my energy, my creativity, and just my overall health. I'm going to talk a little bit about juicing and how important I think it is to juice with fruits and vegetables and put it into your health, you know, put it into your health plan. Um, you know, I want to make sure that everybody realizes, though, that from my standpoint of view, I think the best way to go about it would be to try to make sure that when if you're going to go to the conscious effort to juice, uh, make sure not only that you have yourself a, you know, a decent juicer, you know, the best one that you can possibly get with whatever means that you have at your hands, you know, available to you. And also it is important as much as possible to not use any frozen vegetables, any frozen fruit. It's kind of counterproductive as most of the nutrition is already sucked out of it to begin with. Um, you know, and just try to do as much organics as you possibly can. But I know that for some people, that's not always a possibility. So anyway, I'm going to get into this real quick. You know, there's really, to me, you know, there's, there's endless reasons why you should incorporate fruit and vegetable juicing into your diet. But I'll just touch on kind of seven, seven main points that I kind of came up with. Um, juicing, of course, it makes it easier to consume a large number of vegetables. Uh, virtually every health authority that I've looked into recommends that you get six to eight servings of them a day, fruits and vegetables, I should say. But, you know, few, very few of us actually get that. Uh, and with juicing, when you're juicing right, it, it virtually guarantees that you're going to hit every one of those goals, that you're going to hit every one of those targets that you need to. Um, Second, you know, second point slash reason I kind of wanted to bring up is you can add a wider variety of vegetables to your diet by juicing. A, a lot of people eat the same vegetables every day, which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of rotating your food around, you know, um, and it also increases your chance of developing an allergy to certain foods. Uh, juicing expands the number of different phytochemicals you receive as each ve vegetable offers unique benefits each one of them in and of themselves hit a different goal and, you know, peak a different stride. Juicing also allows you to consume vegetables that you might not normally enjoy eating whole, which I can, you know, I think most of us can relate that there's a lot of vegetables we can't stand the taste of. You know, that's a lot of that's just because of our makeup and a lot of that is how we've been programmed into, you know, eating fast foods and processed foods and things of that nature that most of the West, Western world has been hooked on for a few generations now. Um, you can also, what it really does to you is it really boosts your immune system too. The raw juice, the raw nu nutrients in that juice, um, they, they boost your immune system with concentrated phytochemical and biophotonic light energy. That sounds pretty deep, huh? Sounds good, though. Uh, the, these phytochemicals and biophotonic bio light energy can revitalize your body. The nutrients in fresh juice also feed your body's good bacteria and help suppress potentially pathogens pathogenic ones. So that's interesting. Um, the nutrients, they help bo boost your good bacteria, which reacts as kind of a frontline battle, I would say, against, you know, dangerous ones that might get into different organs in your body and, you know, cause damage and cancer and all that crap that's man-made. Um, here's the big one. It, number five, it increases your energy. When your blood is flooded with nutrients and your body's pH is optimized, you feel energized. You know, you feel in zen, or you might say you feel tranquil, you feel at peace. Since juice is absorbed and utilized by your body very rapidly, juicers report feeling an almost instantaneous kick of energy, almost like a high. Um, you're, you're drinking the pure nutrient. Uh, when you juice, for instance, when you juice watermelon, okay, just in, just the, the juice from just the substance in the watermelon alone, the watermelon part that we normally eat, you're talking, you're only getting 5% of the nutrients. Most of it comes in the rind and mostly right before the rind, that little kind of in-between membrane part, which, which is the case, for instance, as well with, 
with oranges. When you're drinking orange juice, the way we conventionally think about it, you're getting only 1% of the nutritional value. The majority, now 85% of the nutritional value, right? It doesn't lay in the peel, but it lays in that little white kind of soft cove that encompasses the orange. You know how when you slightly just peel an orange and you still get that white cove, that white kind of protective layer, that is where 85% of the nutrients come from. And if 1% comes from the juice, well, that tells you right there, 14% of it also comes from the peel, you know, which is a good idea. Some juicers you can use the peel with, and, you know, there there's things out there that go into, you know, how you can do that and the best way to incorporate your pills into your juices. Um, there's some other techniques that I'm not really sure of on that, but it's important that you do look into these things to to get the full ability out of whatever juicer you pick or you happen to have access to. Um, it supports your brain. According to according to the the Kame Project, K A M E Kame, not yeah, the Kame Project, yeah, not like you know, like yeah, not as an I came, but uh, K A M E the Kame Project. People who consume juice more than three times per week were 76% less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than those who, by contrast, consume juice less than once a week. You know, in number seven, slash, I know I got to up topic, topic a little bit here and bounced around, but the bottom line is vegetable juice in and of itself is one of the purest sources of water, and it actually qualifies as water. Vegetable water is living water. It's living water. It's structured water, okay, which is different from regular water. Uh, structured water is H302 rather than H2O. Water from vegetables is the best quality water you can drink, and I would assume too because not only are you getting that purity, but you're also getting um, the fruits or vegetables of life, you might say, if you will, uh, along with that. So. You know, um, let's let's close this by taking a little bit of a look here at the at the protein and fat angle when it comes to this. When you think of protein, the first image that comes into your mind, and even I know for a lot of us vegetarians who don't even like steak, the first image that comes to our mind is a big juicy steak when I hear the word protein. Okay, but many, many things, as I think a lot of us know, but push out of our awareness a lot of the time, know that there's a lot of other um, outlets for protein. There's a lot of other resources to get your protein from. You know, uh, many vegetables, for example, uh, broccoli, you know, you're talking four to five grams of protein per cup. Spinach, you know, same kind of thing, five to six grams. And uh, things such as kale, watercress, collard, and turnip greens, you know, have a fairly decent, decent respectable amount of protein as well. So during a juice fast, when you're drinking, like say you're drinking juices all day long, okay, you know, you're, you're just drinking juices, there's no food, no solid food being consumed, just juices. You could easily, easily be consuming 20 to 30 grams of protein or more from these juices alone, and that's no food. Um, you, you say like you're going to go on a short fast, for example, uh, let's just, I don't know, we'll throw in three days. Okay, the chances are you're going to get plenty of protein from the juices. If, if you were trying to do what they call a film, which is an extended juice fast, you might want to consider adding a source of high quality protein, such as whey, especially if you're exercising heavily. Okay, you could augment your fats also by blending healthy fats into your juice, such as avocado coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil as well as you know you've got you've got such raw seeds as flax seed chia seed hemp seed etc hemp that's a good one always a good one hemp it's important to remember that juice though it, it's not just a beverage it, it's a liquid food okay and yes it's a beverage but try to get into that mindset of realizing it, it's a liquid food and as our bodies are going through this ascension phase and transitioning, it's more important now more than ever that that concept of the of considering it a liquid food and not a beverage comes into your perception. Okay, and the way to get, one of the ways to get substantial protein 
from these veggies is to consume them in high volume, in mass. Well, how are you going to do that? And let's be real about it. Um, you're going to do that by juicing. I would recommend getting into the habit of juicing daily, but even if you don't, a three to seven day monthly juice fast is a great detox that can give you a considerable boost. And with that, the Light Grid Studios are ringing, and this has been Rockin' Larry Lockin' with your health tip.